There's nothing more fun than creating unique transitions. Seriously, it's my favorite thing to do. I don't like anything else. Liar! Anyway, transitions can turn your videos from this into a nice looking gem. Of course, you gotta know how to create them. But luckily, you're about to learn five transitions that you can use in your next projects. We're starting at level one and then slowly build up until we reach level five. Level one, a basic wipe transition like this. This is perfect for showcasing a before after. To do that, drag the second clip on top of the first clip and let it overlap. The length of this part is gonna be the duration of the transition. Then set a cut on the top clip at the same spot where the bottom clip ends. Then drag the right side to the first video track. Now in the effects library find the crop effect. Then drag it on the top clip in the timeline. Make sure it's selected and go to the effect controls. In here move the player to the first frame of the clip. Then set the right property to 100. Set a keyframe and grab the playhead again. Then move to the end of the clip. Now set the right property to zero. That looks great already but to make it look even better right click the first keyframe and choose ease out. This will make it start slowly and gradually speed up. Then right click the second keyframe and click ease in. This will make sure it ends smoothly. Now the wipe transition looks super clean. Awesome. Level 2. An eye opening transition. This one is still easy but can be challenging if you're new to masking. So it's a perfect exercise. On the left you can see a boy riding a bike. He's dreaming of driving a car so we're gonna create this dreamy blinking effect. To do that select the first clip and go to the effect controls. Then in opacity click the pen tool to create a mask. Head over to the program monitor and draw the shape of an eye around your video. When you close the mask increase the feather a lot. Now move the play to the moment he starts closing his eyes. Then set a mask path keyframe. Move the playhead further in time and select the mask again. Then in the program monitor adjust the mask until it looks like an eye that's almost closed. Now the animation looks like this. Alright go back to the timeline and select the second clip. In the effect controls move the player to the first frame of the clip. Then click the pen tool again and draw a mask of an eye that's as good as closed. When you're done increase the feather a lot again. Then set a mask path keyframe. Now grab the playhead and move further in time. And adjust the mask so your eyes are open. That looks great but it doesn't really look dreamy. When you open up your eyes after waking up everything is bright and blurry. To recreate that duplicate the second clip by holding down alt and dragging it one track up. Then in the effects library find the Gaussian blur effect and drag it on top of the duplicate. Head over to the effect controls and set the blending mode to screen or add. Then increase the Gaussian blur until you get a result you're satisfied with. Next move the player to the first frame and set an opacity keyframe. Then move a little forward in time and set the opacity to zero. That will look amazing. Now you can also download transition templates from the Storyblocks plugin. Just click the download button and let Premiere import it. Then it's all about dragging and dropping. That looks very cool. Storyblocks is actually sponsoring this video and besides templates you can also download over a million HD and 4k resolution assets. From images to music and sound effects and so much more. For just one predictable subscription cost. This means you don't have to pay an expensive price per clip that you download loads ever again. If you want to level up your videos and work so much faster at the same time, I highly encourage you again to choose from thousands pre-made professional templates for Premiere, After Effects, Apple Motion and DaVinci Resolve. These will help you create professional looking videos so much faster. Anything you download with Storyblocks is 100% royalty free so no need to worry about copyright issues or anything like that. Now Storyblocks has a present for you guys only for the Premiere Basics audience. You will get three additional months for free if you sign up with an annual individual license plan. Just go to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics or just click the link down below. This offer is only available until the end of May 2024. So you gotta be quick. Again, you'll find the link down below. Now it's time for level three, a shaky glitch transition. This one is a little more advanced, but if you got the first two, this one is easy. First, you need two clips again for the transition. This time, go to the project window and click the new item button. Choose adjustment layer. Once you have it, drag it on top of both your clips. The length of this adjustment layer will decide the duration of the transition. All right, now first, we're gonna create a shaking effect. To do that, find the transform effect in the effect browser and drag it on the adjustment layer. Then with that clip selected, 
it, go to the effect controls. In here, move the player to the first frame of the clip and set a scale keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon. Then grab the player and move a little further in time. Set the scale to 105. Grab the player again and move towards the end of the clip, but not the last frame. Set another keyframe at 105. Then move to the last frame of the clip and set the scale back to 100. This will create a zoom in effect. We're doing this to prevent black edges from showing up when we're shaking. Now, to create the shake effect, move the player to the first frame of the clip. Then set a position keyframe. Move one frame further in time with your arrow keys and adjust the position randomly. Move another frame forward and adjust the position again. Keep doing that until you're at the end of the clip. Now set the shutter angle to 180 degrees and that's it for the shake effect. That looks awesome already. Now to top it off, find the VR chromatic aberrations effect and drag it on the adjustment layer. In the effect controls, move the player to the first frame of the clip and set the fall off distance to zero. Of course, click the stopwatch icon to animate it. Then go to the last frame of the clip and set another fall off distance keyframe. Now grab the player and put it somewhere in the middle of the clip. Increase the fall off distance until you're satisfied with what you're seeing. And there you go, an amazing glitch transition. Make sure you keep watching because at the end of this video I'll show you how to save it as a pre Set. Level 4, an advanced zoom out transition. So I'm gonna zoom out on this clip and land on the second one. To do this, create a new adjustment layer in the project window and once you have it, drag it on top of your clips. Again, the length of this clip decides the duration of the transition. Next, set a cut in the middle of the adjustment layer. Now in the effects library, find the replicate effect. Then drag it on the first adjustment clip. Now head over to the effect controls and set the count to 3. Next, find the mirror effect in the effects library and drag Drag it on your clip as well. Set the angle to 90 degrees and drag it to the bottom until the mirrored edge connects with the clip in the middle. Then copy and paste the effect and set it to minus 90 degrees this time. Then drag the position all the way to the top and let it connect again. Duplicate the effect again and this time set the angle to zero. Then drag it all the way to the right side. Now duplicate it one last time and set the angle to 180. Then drag it to the left side. This makes your clip look like one big video. Next, add the transform effect to the first adjustment layer. Then in the effect controls, set the scale to 300. Move the player to the first frame of the clip and set a scale keyframe. Now move the player to the end of the clip and set the scale to 100. Now expand the velocity curves and drag the lever of the first keyframe to make it start slowly and go faster gradually. We're easing it out but this curve gives you more control. Then of course, make sure to set the shutter angle to 180 degrees to introduce motion blur. Alright, that's it for the first clip. Let's move on to the second adjustment layer. Find the transform effect again and drag it on your clip. Then head over to the effect controls and move the player to the first frame of the clip. Then set the scale to 200 and set a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon. Now move further in time and click the reset button to set the scale back to 100. Now again, expand the velocity curves but this time pull the lever of the last keyframe to make the animation end smoothly or in other words easing it in. Again, don't forget to increase the shutter angle and there you go. It's that simple. This transition looks amazing but you can save it as a preset and use it on every clip you have. To do that, select both the adjustment layers and choose nest. Call it zoom out transition or something. Then click on OK. Now this nested sequence will be in the project panel and you can remove it from the timeline. Before you drag it on top of the clips, make sure insert and overwrite is disabled. Then when you drag a nest in the timeline, it will only import the inside of the sequence, which means you can save this nested sequence into your project template and use it whenever you want. Level 5 is an insane zoom into eye transition, which can be challenging. So to continue the lesson click the video right here on my left thank you guys so much for watching again stay creative